Look at that. Red, yellow, white, purple flowers galore. Whoa, rocks. Kerry from Colorado Biking and I'm at Steamboat Ski Resort. The bike park's not open yet because they have problems with their ski lifts. But uh, I've just climbed up 3,000 feet off-road. It's taken me two hours to get to near the top of uh, Werner Mountain. I think that's the pronunciation, Werner. And I'm about to ride Pete's Wicked uh, back down, pick up Sunshine, and then some other trails heading back to the bottom. But for now, this will be Pete's Wicked when I get my breath back. Still early in the morning. I started out at just after 6, about 6.10, quarter past 6. And uh, currently about half past 8. May even be 9 o'clock. I've lost track of time. And uh, steamboat's down there. I've climbed up there. I've got to admit, some of that last climb, I was uh, walking. <laughs> it's a brutal climb. And I was a fool. A, uh, a park employee in a truck offered to give me a lift up the road. And I turned him down thinking, Climbing's good for you. Am I a fool? Yes. If you ever get the offer for a lift up the mountain, take it. 3,000 foot's a long way to come. All right, let's get my helmet on. Get my bike out of its granny gear. So it appears that Pete's Wicked starts out on the road, which is not what I was expecting. It is Pete's Wicked. All right. Starts off rough. <laughs> then, uh, third single track. Few drops. Whoop. Could have taken that. This is my first time down here. No idea what to expect. Hopefully my videos will help give you an idea. For Aspens. Some stone features, roots. Nice bank corner there. Hey, oh. So it's due to construction, Dusty Road is closed Monday through Thursday and will not be passable. Dusty Road will be open Friday through Sunday. Well, it's Friday. So actually, I'm going to continue on Pete's Wicked this Friday, so this is open. Wait, this is narrow. Stop, Stony. Okay, Whew. that really is not that bad. A little uphill. All right, 
Now we're getting to the more technical part. <laughs> Some rocks, Pete's wicked. It is very overgrown there. Really hard to see what you're doing. <laughs> oh. I'm at what, over 10,000 feet. I'm totally exhausted. Where's the trail? Right, a few natural technical features for those that like that. Because so far, much of Steamboat is fairly smooth dirt. And Pete's Wicked is. Ah, looks like a goat track. <laughs> Where's the trail? There we go. Continue on. Well, if you ever want a backcountry feel while being at a, the bike park, I'd say Peace Wicked is probably a good bet. Through wildflowers, lots of wildflowers. Man, you can't take these fast when it's so narrow. Look at that. Red, yellow, white, purple flowers galore. Oh, rocks. Continue down. <laughs> this is beautiful, but you cannot take it quick. Can you even see the trail on the video? I can barely see it with my eyes and my resolution so much better. Actually, I'm just gonna have to go slow. <laughs> I'm sure this trail will get wider as the season goes on. I have a feeling not many people have been up here yet this year as, a, as the lifts are still closed. Park should have opened in June, then they got delayed to like uh, July 21st was what I heard, which is tomorrow. And now Online, it's saying not until Monday. Hey, look at this fluffy with mud in my face. We had some pretty heavy downpours last night, night. So the trails are super tacky. It's a little wet up here. And, oh. <laughs> my fingers actually getting tired. I am on my brake nearly the entire way down here. Ooh. Yeah, it rocks. And pretty wet. Ha! Uh -huh. Stony! all.
Oh, that was a puddle there. Wait. Yeah, so that was Pete's wicked. I am splattered with mud, as is the camera. And my bike. Oh, that was messy. <laughs>